Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalendo, and today we're playing more Crusader Kings 2. And yeah, I've been looking around the map, and I'm pretty sure that this lower crown authority is going to fire pretty much as soon as possible because they have 204% of my regular troops. And um, yeah, that's scary. So I'm debating whether or not I should. I'm just taking a look around the, the world map now. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should fight it or just give in to it. Um, let's 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 assume we're gonna fight it for now. Oh, we're already finished with this war, so I'm gonna load my troops into the boats. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy surrender. Um, oh, he's another. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this. I could be wrong, but I think this can't fire as long as I'm at war with a pagan of a different you know religion i think i don't know so i'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit just to give me a little more time to get my troops on the boats i think it'll automatically get pieced uh in a second here um okay now i'm nervous um count eugenos Yeah, he doesn't have anything I want, I don't think. So we'll just keep the information to ourselves. Oh, no, excuse me. This is about the Pope, isn't it? It's saying the Pope is attempting to spread vile heresies. Of course you'd say that. You're Orthodox, and the Pope is Catholic. Of course you'd say that. Um, yeah, we're just going to uh, keep that information to ourselves. Just want to get the the army to Constantinople. If we're about to have a revolt, I want to have all of my people, um, all of my army at, uh, ooh, at home. An emissary from the Holy Father has come uh, to our court to announce that we are an anathema to everything that is holy. We have been excommunicated. We have been judged in the eyes of God. Uh, okay, so we have gained excommunicated. Uh, d d excluded from the church gives people reason to attack us less diplomacy same faith opinion negative 30 this should not be a problem because as you recall the um, the holy man the Pope actually works for us so I can ask him to lift the excommunication that he just for some reason put on me and uh, he can't say no because well he, he it'd be very very difficult for him to say no pretty much he can't say no um, for all intents and purposes, he has to do whatever I ask of him. So there you go. He should lift that. Boom. Gladly lift the excommunication of Emperor Alboin and allow him back into the church. Of course you will. Because you work for me. Um, army's almost there. We're going to get them get them home onto the... Uh, into Constantinople. I feel like the sound has gotten louder again for some reason. Let me turn that down a little bit. Maybe turn this one down. There. Okay. Unpause. Fraticelli heresy has appeared in the province of Baden. Horrible. Alright, we're landing here. We've, uh, ooh. We got the Duchy of Crete inherited. Where is that Duchy of Crete? Down there? Yeah, we don't need that. You seem like a nice guy. Want a, want a duchy? Is that what you want? Want this? Yeah, you do. You want that. Um, hmm. Okay, so our troops are home now. And I can release them, I think. But let us let me see if, if they'll go ahead and fire off the uh, lower crown authority while my troops are still up. So I don't have to re-raise them and re-gather them. That would be awesome if they did that. Give them a, let's give them a few months. Even though we're very poor, we can actually have this guy um, that we just imprisoned. Hopefully, he'll have some money if we banish him. Please, 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 please. Known plots, prisoners. 550 gold, we'll take it. And you, ransom for 25 gold, sure. We pretty much need as much money as we can get. Um, is it not going to, oh, there it is, there it is, uh, for too long the crown had, so I knew it, I knew they were going to do it, they, that I knew it was bugged, just like I thought in the last game, they would have fired it earlier if they could have, 
but now I've, I've, you know, reloaded the game, I've unbugged myself, and they are firing the event. The Crown has restricted our historic rights and liberties. The time has come to lower Crown authority. Submit to the demand peacefully or face the consequences. Rest assured, I've gathered the others who are equally upset. Signed, Duchess Joanna of Bourbon. Where is Bourbon? Hey, that's, that's in France, isn't it? Is that... That's in Germany? What are you a part of? Oh, it's Frisia. I think that's technically going to be... I don't know. That's like right on the line between Germany and France. Uh, l from later, not from now. Still, I, I guess that's technically still Francia, but... Uh, it's This world map is weird. <laughs> I can't cope with it. Um, I will not be blackmailed. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can stand up to her. How much? How many troops is she going to have, I wonder? Um, I will not be blackmailed. We'll see how big her revolt ends up being. They've declared the fourth Byzantine civil war to lower crown authority. And we still have all our troops up. We lost about 8,000 troops because they went to join their respective rebels. We can request that this random baron from in the middle of nowhere join us. Sure. He's not going to be able to help that much. Um, man, we just cannot catch a break. This is... This has been a tough uh, couple of episodes. It certainly has been taking a toll on me. Um, we're not going to spend any money getting any more retinues because we're fighting a war and we need money. So let's slow down time just a little bit. During the battle, you fearlessly charged ahead of your on horseback directing directly into the enemy ranks. Members of your personal guard riding beside you tumbled off their horses as enemy arrows found their marks, but your charge plowed straight into the enemy skirmishers and your sword ran red with their blood. Wow. Songs will be sung of this day. 100 prestige for our little charge. Okay. So we have this area here we can go after. We have this area here we can go after. Or we can get on our boats and go and take down the leader of the revolt. I feel like this is too close to home. Our, our capital's in Constantinople, so we're going to have to defend our home front first. Um, and try to capture some of their land. She has 17,000 troops at her command. We have 29,000, so it shouldn't be a problem. The main problem we're going to have is money. And it always is money. So let's see if we can... How, how we're going to do here. Okay. Try to pick off some of these troops as we're coming in here. Prince Petrus of Italy has usurped uh, county, apparently. Interesting. Oh, he's a an, he's an inheritor of the king of uh, kingdom of Italy. He's uh, one of the one of the pretenders to that throne. Okay, so uh, one thing I, I wish one thing I missed from Europa Universalis Four is they had a nice little carpet siege mechanic, and it doesn't feel like I don't I don't uh, you know, Crusader Kings Two doesn't really have that. Uh, it, what, what Crusader Kings 2 has is kind of an out, outnumbered modifier, which basically gives you, by having a whole lot of people, it gives multipliers to um, how fast the siege goes down. Whereas, um, it's kind of bad sometimes to carpet siege in Crusader Kings 2 because you end up taking more attrition damage. So I, I end up going back and forth as to whether or not I should split my troops and conquer m multiple things at once. I'll at least split them into two. At the very least. How much did that change? See, it, it slows down the siege by a good bit, but not, not terrible. It's by like 50%. Yeah, so there's almost no reason to split your troops, it seems like. Uh, seeks to kill my son. Why does everyone want to kill my son? Seriously. I'll even split up just in case there's uh, winter attrition. We don't want to suffer winter attrition. And I feel like we will if we have our entire army together in one place. So we'll, we'll keep them two separate for now. And speed up time. Um, I'm going to just kind of go through this, sieging all their territories down, and hope that that wins us the war. Um, let's get the rest of these guys down here if we can. They're probably not going to make it. But... You know, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, siege, 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 and then take down any armies that are nearby. They're going to be sieging stuff up here, but I'm not even, I, I can't, I can't 
cover every every area. So I just want to hit this big area first over here on the on the west. Get them taken taken down and then try to force a surrender. Let's take a look at the war score too. Two battles and they've lost them both, so we're winning from that. Oh, wow. Somebody's helping us fight too. Just a little. I'm going to let them gather a pretty big army together so I can just blow them up all at once. And um, hopefully that'll be a big war score by wiping out a huge army. So give them time to gather their troops. Ooh. This is, this is a tough one. This is the biggest challenge to my power in the Empire so far, I think. Uh, a dangerous heresy has been embraced. Uh, the Lollard heresy. We can demand reconversion. And we'll go ahead and do that. Got to have religious... Uh, homogenization in this time. Um, I have molded over carefully. Okay, so he said yes. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have molded over carefully, but I must follow my heart and mind. The Lollard faith rings true in a way that the Catholic creed does not. I will pray for your salvation. So he said no. All right. Can't do anything about that. So they've got kind of four, three, three sieges going on right now. We're sieging two places down here. Where's all these fleets? There's a big army right there. And they're, they're trapped fighting that army. So I'm going to go ahead and break this siege to attack them. Just to get them out of the way. Despite being able to help in my latest war, my friend Count, uh, Count Andreas chose to ignore my plight. Uh, the war was a struggle, and any help, any at all, could have helped me greatly. Don't count on any help from Count Andreas. All right. So we're just going to chase this army down, prevent them from merging up with the main force that they have. Defeat. Where is the defeat? Oh, okay, up there. One of our armies that's marching down here got caught, which is okay. It's fine. Uh, so that army's done. Let's go ahead and blow up this army as soon as that siege is done. When is he going to leave? He's going to get to here late, so we're fine. We'll just let them attack. Got one siege done. Uh, we have another child. What did I just miss? I just clicked through something I shouldn't have clicked through. Byzantine Empire. Wait a minute, what? Title loss on secession. Um, I'm confuzzled. Hold on. We're in agnatic cognatic primogeniture. And it's having... Why does it have the empire going to this guy? We have a son. What's wrong with our son? He's in hiding. That shouldn't be a problem. No heir to your dynasty. I think this is a bug. I think that's going to fix itself. At least I hope that fixes itself, because that's kind of weird. Captured Polycarpus. Polycarpus. Just keep marching. We're just gonna have one of these armies just go around and break up all the all the biggest uh, biggest armies we can find. Have the other one sit around and siege. Lollard heresy has appeared in Ferenz. See, it's really hard to keep these heresies down with low moral authority. This anti-pope is really causing all kinds of issues. Come back here with your bad self. Cool. Chase around this. See, the problem is, see, see he's on a horse, so he's, he can go faster and I can't. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. But still, it, 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 he, he seems to have the advantage. Come back here. Where do you think you're going? 
I'm glad this person here, uh, one of the Dukes is helping us out, which is really cool. They're kind of being a roadblock, probably unintentionally. Important decisions. Let's see. Nothing important that we want to do right now. So what, how, where is her army? Has she got an army together somewhere? She doesn't really seem to have anything going on for her right now. Ooh, we have a, uh, I didn't realize we had an army over here. Let's go ahead and get them on the boat. Get them over to help us out a little bit. So they've got two sieges going on at 0%. I've got two sieges that are actively working. I am running out of money, though. That is a problem. My retinues are still building it at full strength. Um, let's set that to half, see if we can't get that to stick around for a while. Um, Prince is now our inheritor, so we're good there. Educate this child. Someone, please. Someone, please. Educate. I'm, I'm feeling like we need to almost give up on this whole Lombard idea because uh, it doesn't seem like... It seems like a lost cause at this point. We might want to go Greek or something. I don't know. I don't know whether to do that or not. It's it's kind of part of this whole series is staying Lombard when we're not supposed to be basically being Lombard in a non-Lombard world. Okay, we seize that. We'll siege this next. You were in the thick of it uh, during the battle, and your tally of slain enemy shoulder soldiers has impressed even the most grizzled of, uh, surgeon, uh, surgeons, sergeants in your army. As you clean the blood splatter, uh, splatter off your sword and armor, the men cheer you for the bravery you displayed in securing the victory. Songs will be sung of this day. I'm guessing these are the war events. Since I've got a war focus for this character, I'm getting a bunch of um, war-based events. Fraticelli Uprising? Why? Could, could you have picked a better time? What's wrong with you? Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost just like, hey, I'll surrender. What is that going to do? Takes occupied titles from, gains piety, gains piety. Uh, I'd lose a lot from that. And the moral authority would go down. Maybe somebody will come and, you know, smack those guys around. I don't know. Probably not. I guess we could send one of our armies up there. Uh, okay. Duchy, this duchy was given back to me, so we'll give it to someone else. And now that guy died right when I was looking at him. Oh, uh, let's do... I've been thinking about why don't we just do a search, a search my vassals for content. And they have to be a they don't, Actually, they don't have... Well, yeah, they do have to be a ruler to get a duchy. Um, if we could just look around, see what's my lowest guy with content. And give the duchy to him. That's probably a bad idea. Because he's not even in this area. We need to give this to somebody, though. Somebody who isn't going to rebel one month later. I guess this guy, Grant Sibirayot. How do you pronounce that? I have no idea. Let's merge these two together. This this revolt seems to be very weak. She only has seven thousand troops left. I bet if I go and smack the rest of her troops around, they would uh, they'd surrender. Where uh, where's her main army? Doesn't have much of an army left. There's one there, sort of. Oh, there's 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 a big army there. Let's go and uh, see if we can't end this a little quicker. Put our best soldiers in front. Yes, we're out of money. I realize that. We don't have any mercenaries, do we? Okay, good. Mercenaries, if you actually have... I'm going to drop my fleets because those are expensive. 
Um, mercenaries, if you actually have them and you run out of money, they will actually, some of them, the time they will rebel against you and fight against your own armies. So, if you do run out of money, make sure you drop your mercenaries or it could be bad stuff. He crossed the river. I don't want to cross the river to attack him. Let's go around and just come in from, ah, uh, that's a river too. Oh well, we'll just cross the river. I'm sure nothing could go wrong crossing the river to attack someone. The Germanic Reformation. The ancient Germanic religions are proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. That's a you know, reference to Christianity and Islam. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Filkir Fil Sigurd and the most powerful priests have decided to uh, reform the Germanic uh, faith. With codified rites, a holy scripture, and a strict church hierarchy under a single leader, they hope that their reformed Germanic faith is better armed to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. They are still barbarians. So the Germanic religion has been reformed. So basically the pagans have reformed their religion in a sense to be more like uh, organized religion. I'm going to catch you. Ha ha. That river won't save you now. It should be a big victory um, for the war score. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. Chase him across the river again. Okay, wiped out his army. We're at 63%. What else you got? you have any others anywhere? No more armies, really? What is that? Fraticelli Uprising, Fraticelli Uprising. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just, we're going to march. No, we're not going to march. What are we talking about? Um, let's get our boats together, and we're going to just deliver. We're going to deliver a package up north. Um, get our boats all in Constantinople. A wrong button. There we go. March. Over here, meet in Constantinople. Use the boats to get over to the north. She's asking for peace, but she's she's saying white peace. If we get if we if we take her offer of white peace, we get fifty prestige. Uh, she loses a hundred prestige. If we get if we enforce demands, we imprison her and I think all of her allies. I can't I can't remember if we get all of her allies or not. I kinda wanna I kinda wanna go for the enforced peace. She can't stand up against me right now, so um, other than the money situation, there's no reason for me not to do it. And in the meantime we'll go up and uh Yeah, no, decline. We're we're gonna go up and try to stop that uprising. Merge the boots. I'm being extremely inefficient with the amount of money I'm spending on boating. But it's just so much easier to just say, all boats, go! They're up here. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna land in Treviso. I think that's the closest we can come to getting to... It's kind of in the middle of Germany, so... Or the, at least the German area. Is that Germany? I don't know my uh, European... Uh, yeah, that's still the German kingdom there. I don't know my European uh, geography very much. Uh, as well as I should, anyway. Okay. Morale's low, but that's fine. It'll be good by the time they get up there. Um, and we'll leave those boats there to bring them back. Just in case... Yeah, she's completely losing this war. She's she's a done. She's completely done for. That siege is almost done. The world's a dangerous place. Devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that uh, there are people conspiring to kill your son. It or Kimpert. This is worrying. Of course it is. That's why I've got him in hiding. He's hiding. 
Um, unfortunately, I, yeah, well, never mind. I thought I couldn't have a guardian on him while he was hiding. What does hiding do? Monthly prestige, diplomacy, vassal opinion. Okay, that's fine. As long as he doesn't die, we're good. We have another son. Cool. We just got to the uh, heresy. That This should um, end that war. Swords are sharp and dangerous. I can lead my lead better from inside my own castle. Curses, I've gained Craven, so I'm scared of going to war now. That's really helpful when we are war-focused. War-focused, afraid of going to war. Uh, during the battle, you fearlessly charged. Okay, so this is where we charged in our, on our cavalry uh, into the middle of the enemy. Oh, forgot to chase him down, didn't we? Okay, attack again. This should end the Fraticelli Uprising. For now. 95%. One more. While we're up here, if we see one of the uh, rebel armies, we'll take care of it too. Uh, how's our sieges going? Are they done down here? Nope, one more. Okay. Good there. 100%. Enforce demands. Talk to you. Execute. Banished. Banished. I can get 16.1 gold for banishing. And people won't mind. So, Or I can demand religious conversion, which I won't do. Banish. Go somewhere else. Cause someone else problems. Oh, where is their army? They don't have an army anymore, do they? She has 3,000 wandering around somewhere. All right, I'm gonna get my my peeps back to uh, back to Constantinople because I think this thing's over. That this was a lot. This was a lot of bark and no bite. Is basically what this was. Ninety-six percent. Can't wait to actually get some money again. How old's our king? If we get a, if if we can keep him alive for a long time, maybe we can build up our our funds, get get our retinues finished up. Um, he's still forty, so he's got you know another 30, 20 to thirty years in him, hopefully. Probably twenty. Get on the boats. Actually, no, I'm already in my territory, so as soon as this siege is over. I can just drop the troops wherever they are. Doesn't don't really matter where they are. Underfunded sheriffs. Cannot afford to pay. I realize this is a problem, but you guys are just going to have to deal with it for now. Dangerous factions. What now? Independence faction. The king of Italy and the... Um, my half-brother, Radelgar, is also... Not in a good mood. And he's the king of Wallachia. They want independence, do they? Hmm. 99%. Should be soon. There we go. 100%. That should do it. So let's go ahead and get out of this horrible, horrible war. Um, none of Joanna's are occupied by... Oh, seriously? Some of her holdings are occupied. Now I can't... Seriously, this is happening, and I can't get her to surrender because of it. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. We're going to have to take our army and go save her castle so we can get her to surrender. Silliness. Alright, get on the boat. We're going to go for a little, uh, going to go for a little sail, a little ride. Marriage, no. Seriously, get on the boat. Slow boat. We'll land in uh, Holland. No, we'll land in Bruges. That way we don't have to cross a river. No 
know, just to wait. Literally, we have to have the ships go all the way around the Mediterranean, all the way around Spain, just to get up here. But it's still the fastest way. Spymaster. Yeah, sure. You're fine. Um, scheme for me, brother. There we go. I am so broke. Uh, it, is star it started as uneasiness around guests and strangers and evolved into awkwardness and a strong feeling of discomfort. I'll just have to try to be more gregarious. Yeah, we're going to try to be more gregarious. Talking to people and getting to know them is something I really like. I've gained the gregarious trait. Okay. Don't want shyness. We want gre gregariousness. That gives you some diplomacy, I believe. Diplomacy, attraction, opinion, all kinds of opinion pluses. We've inherited another duchy that we'll, we'll promptly give away to someone else. Permanently. Because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah, you're fine. Grant, title, that. Go. Enjoy. go to Bruce from here. Oh, uh, never mind. We'll go to Bruce from here. <laughs> boat still moving. Please remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Oh, great. We're going to take attrition damage, aren't we? And now there's a Slavic Rebellion. Hmm. Where are you at? Over here. Seriously, she's. I, I'm trying to save her capital, and she's sieging my capital. Split my troops. Send half of them home. so we can offer a ride to whatever's left over here. This is a this is a, is a management nightmare right now. Let's go free up our capital. Let's go stop the revolt over here and let's save our whole empire. Our enemies are fighting. That's awesome. Love that. Oh no. No, 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 no. I did not see that other army being that big. That is bad. That is bad town. Badness. Uh, Stop here. Get off. Go rescue the army. We at least, at least we won, but that was so much damage. I'm, I, I just can't believe this happened. Chase them down. Can't believe we managed to win that. Um, the Pope wants to be our court chaplain. Well, yes, of course the Pope can be our court chaplain. I think that kind of makes sense, wouldn't you say? Uh, he really likes us, too. Paragon of Virtue. Really? I'm a Paragon of Virtue? Owns a re holy relic. Owns another holy relic. Crushed a revolt. I don't see myself as being a paragon of virtue here, guy. Or does that mean you're a paragon of virtue? Nope, neither. Hmm. Weird. Get in there, man. There we go. Let's put a stop to this. Uh, they're heading to Toast, I think. Where is that? No, Breda. Excuse me, Breda. Ask my friend to join the war. Ask my friend for monetary help, as always. Get him, get him, get him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Captured somebody in war. Ooh, ransom prisoner. Is he some kind of heir to something? 
think he must be like an heir to the throne or hey, he's a duke. That's okay. He's a duke. That's why. Ransom prisoner for 145 gold. Yes, please. Okay. I love it when my enemy enemies start fighting, but this is just a mess up here. They're going to Brabant now. Hopefully we can catch them in time. Um, hmm. He sent me seven gold. Thank you. So nice of you. All right, let him, let that army get to Liege, and then we'll attack. I really want this to be over. Still can't get her surrender, can we? Okay, we'll have half the troops here, half the troops in Breda, and we'll just get these sieges complete ASAP. Another Fraticelli Uprising. Slavic Revolt. Second Fraticelli Revolt. As always, the peasants are revolting. But cha Educate child is always an issue. Just want to get rid of all this stuff. Hey, the Byzantine Slavic revolt ended. <laughs> we won, apparently. Looks like somebody took care of it for us. That rocks. Thank you, whoever did that. Uh, release. No. Banish. Banish. You can't come back. Remember when we had money? That was nice, right? There's this stupid army over here again. 56%. Uh, let's let him sit there for a little bit. We'll take him down just a little bit here. Finishing the siege, and then we'll pop over there and take his army down before it gets any bigger than it currently is. Victory there. Victory there. Where are you, and what what horrible, horrible trouble are you causing? Yep, 13,000. They just doubled their troop count. We're going to have to surrender that one, I think. I have no choice. I have no choice. I've been playing way too long. I'm sorry, guys. I... This has been such a big one that I just, I've completely lost track of time. Um, this looks like we're going to be able to get this war over and then in the next episode hopefully take care of that Fraticelli Rebellion. So come back for the next one to see how this thing concludes and see if we're able to, I don't know, scratch something together and stop all these revolts. Uh, I know I sound down. This is actually really exciting, but it's like, come on, it's one after another after another. Um, really appreciate you watching. Feel free to click that subscribe button somewhere on your screen. And um, remember, keep it clean.